It is said that in the final days of Five Hoofers, John Granston had a bad dream. Usually, one forgets these dreams, because they must. But not this time. Not this day. trying to get rid of me or something. I won't worry about that, mate. What made you think we'd do that? I don't know. It was a freaky dream. Like a low-budget day of the doctor's spoof or something. Oh, yeah. One of those. I have them all the time. Oh, really? What's yours about, then? Well, in mine, I stood onto a cloud of Christopher Eccleston's or holding DVD box sets of Series 1 to 7. Are you listening to my important dream? Um, hi, sorry, I, uh, uh, never mind, probably too many late nights, you know how it is. Anyway, John, what's your next Five Who Fans video gonna be, hmm? Uh, why the TV movie sucks. Ah, uh, that'll make a nice change, not to make a controversial video. Oh, also, Dan's been asking about you something about the future. I'll call you back. John? Oh well. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. Bloody hell. You're my doppelganger. Crazy eyes, though. Talkative, ain't ya? Not another one. Oi, you. Step back from him. Oh, God. Step back, creepy one. But, but, but you're from another dimension. Correct. You're dynamite. You're the dynamite doctor. Dynamite. Got it in one. Yes, I am. The oncoming storm. The bringer of darkness. I am the doctor. Oh, shut up, you fool. Oi, I'm trying to be cool over here. Why are you here? The pair of you. He's this weird, formless time thingy. Lives in the internet. And I've got to destroy him. The sorry one warned me. He's gonna change time. Look, he's already changed my coat. I also gave you a beard. You're too late. Dynamite. I'm a time traveler. I'm never late. Then check your watch. No. No, it can't be. Ta-ta. Oh, bugger. What's happened to him? Time caught up with him. As it will for all of us. Um, okay. So, what, what do you want with me? I want to make you happy. I want to make you famous. Sorry? You are part of Five Who fans, no? A channel where you have to share the glory. A team game. <laughs> yeah, well, it's called the Five Who Fans. But what if it were only you? If you replaced the whole of Five Who Fans with just you? The One Who Fan. Or the One Whovian. I prefer the One Who Fan. <laughs> Whatever, not interested. 
Five Who Fans isn't about fame. Oh really? So what is it all for then? Take my hand. Join me. And we, you, could become the most renowned, influential, and important Doctor Who fan of all time. And with that, the fate of Five Who fans was sealed. How am I supposed to dye this ginger hair? Oh my goodness. I'm being affected! <laughs> yeah, take that. Yeah, die, die. What the? I feel, I feel funny. This better not be anything to do with Five Who fans. <laughs> Hello, this is Richard. <laughs> It is 12 reasons why I don't do this stuff in 12 minutes. It's good to write up some hard science once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever I go, whatever I do, I am followed by the sound of the BBC Radiophonic Workshop. Can I leave you one? Now look, I just don't want to. I said I don't want to. Oh, it's happening again. <laughs> <laughs> you fool! Have you not checked your mobile device? Oh, ploppers. Oh, ploppers indeed. <laughs> okay, now let's see what the Five Who fans are up to this week. Now, I can't imagine a week without the Five Who fans, all four of them. You've got Richard being controversial, that cheeky scamp, but the audience um, surprisingly has a quite mature response to his videos. You've got um, you've got Billy just being a little scamp, always getting into the, into some shenanigans. You've got Livy, who's strangely thought provoking and likes to cross dress as Billy. Oh, like you, you don't want to miss those. You've got Dan, who looks spectacular naked. Now let's see what's going on this week. What the heck? Wow. I never realised John Granston was a part of this channel. What a strange novelty. Hey there, Hootube! It's John Granston here, and in this week's video... I'm gonna talk to you about the new teaser trailer for Series 8 of Doctor Who. And how it practically confirms... Verani and Davros are getting married in the Series 9 finale. What? Uh, hello? John found you, you cheeky so-and-so. Richard? How? It was simple, really. We followed the clues. Oh, yeah. What? What does he mean, clues? He means we know who you are. Yes, we've had the displeasure of meeting before. You. You see, after you attempted this last time, John got us to investigate what happened to Dan. Why you? I'm the bloody team leader. It's my job. Bollocks! And after you'd possessed me last year, 
we figured out you could only be... The Five Who Fans villain. What a prick. Well, you're all too late to stop me now, all of you. I admit, you do appear to have turned John into the new Ian Levine. What a prick. But this doesn't mean he can't come back. Don't listen to them. How do I fight him then? Simple. I mean, it's not strictly scientific. But dig deep, John. Figure out what it means. What what means? Doctor, Doctor Who! Who! No! Don't do it! Ow. Dig deep, dig deep, dig deep. Stop it! Got it! Don't do this! I did all of this for you! Don't you get it? This isn't about me or you. This is about everyone. Doctor Who is for everyone. No! This isn't the last you'll hear of me. No! And so the villain was defeated. Again. Which is a bit of an anticlimax if you ask me. All this namby pamby deep deep nonsense. This isn't CBeebies, you know. This is the internet, the home of porn and trolls. It's not the place someone goes to to dig deep. Who wrote this piece of crap? Oh, I should have known. Stephen! Stephen! Can I have a word with you? Um, hello, hi, sorry. Um, can we move on with the video, please? Um, it's, it's beginning to drag out and I want to wrap it up. Cheers. Name? What the? Where am I? Name? No. Uh, John Granston. Mr. Granston, you'll be brought to us today after conspiring to destroy the YouTube channel known as The Five Moon Fans. How do you plead? Well, Technically, it wasn't me. I was possessed. According to the rules laid down by this court under Section 4, any action performed by a body willing, possessed, or brought back from the dead will be treated as equally responsible for the body's actions. Oh, uh, well, guilty then. Let it be heard that John Granson admitted to being guilty. So, what will become of me? Am, am I banished from Five Who fans? Due to multiple requests from friends of yours, myself and the court will allow you to remain a member of the Five Who fans, with all the damage you have done reverted. Oh, thank goodness. However, you will be stripped of your rank of leadership, exiled to a new location, and your appearance altered. Oh, well, that was what? You can't change what I look like without consulting me. I think you find you can. Let sentence be passed. What? Oi! No! You can't! Stop that! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Stop this! It's not fair! Whoa! You're making me dizzy! Stop! It's the same. That's good. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh well. I suppose it's time. Ah. Cheers. Hmm. So, what is Doctor Who? Is it a TV program? Is it something that causes mass hysteria on social networks? Will it always be a thorn in the BBC's side? Or, is it a community? 
This is something that brings us all together whether we love it, hate it, or think it sucks sometimes. Doctor Who is the biggest social playground I know. And doesn't this channel just prove that? Whether it's a song about Colin Baker, or a tale about egos and eyebrows, or a few honest reviews, it's brought us all together. Five Who fans. Arguably one of the more tenacious parts of this community. Sure, we can be a tad controversial, but isn't it great to have a subject that reaches so many people, that we can bring them all together in the blink of an eye? That's special, and something that we should all be grateful for. Thanks, Doctor Who. As times have changed, so have we. And now, on the eve of a brand new Doctor, it's time for Five Who fans to enter a whole new era. Here's to the team, here's to the future, and here's to you. Goodbye, Five Who fans.